me hello everybody welcome back to pern 1.18 survival so we have been very busy first we removed the wall behind us <laughs> that was just our practice wall but we have done a lot take a look at this Ta -da! oh my goodness we have towers we have walls we have roads yay <laughs> yes we've been extremely busy in fact um you know we've started uh, we we fleshed out the walls so that they're ready for topping. We have developed roadways. Um, you can see here, this one goes all the way down along the side of the mountain. We still have to go out, you know, from there, but it goes out. Um, and, of course, it continues the design. This one loops around and comes up like this because the castle and stuff's going to be there. Uh, and then we have fleshed out some side roads. Uh, we also took a bunch of our beeswax and waxed up a bunch of the roofing. So there's still some that's changing colors, which we'll let it do. But we'll have a mix up there, and we'll have to figure out how we, you know, eventually what we want to go with. Um, of course, you can see the obvious here, but we have the start of a gate. We've already got the porticullis in, um, and of course uh, the design here. I really like this. Is it? Whoops! It almost fell off the cliff. Um, Looks really good. We've got the road going down here as well. It loops around several times, goes out. We've got a road all the way over to where our bees are over there. Um, obviously, you saw the towers. If we go to the other end of our hill, <laughs> hilltop, city, whatever, um, well, first we'll explore the gate. So a um, couple things to note, yeah, while we're here. Uh, let's come over here. So, you know, while the towers around the gate and everything aren't complete, we did do this, look, uh, where we've got this really neat, you know, it looks like the rope or chain is coming through these pulleys going down. That's what's going to raise and lower the porticullis. Um, you can see it up here as well. Uh, well, I guess it's down below. <laughs> There's a room down below somewhere. Did I not make a door into it? Did I seal it up? It's I probably walked over. It's right there um, where the chains continue. We also got these um, so that like you could be up here with your arrow if the portcullis was closed and you could shoot down your enemies. Um, so we got two of them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, did I actually block this off? Or, or maybe, no, 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 never mind. I didn't leave it open. That's what it was. Yeah, because there's no room. Um, it's just... I mean, you can kind of see right there <laughs> at the top of the porticullis. Um, anyway, so we did that. Um, and then we started working on this, our walls and towers. So uh, on the back side here, you could see we've got this design going along here. Of course, there's going to be buildings, houses, and stuff. Um, and it goes out this way. There's a little uh, walkway that goes up and a little upper area. So we've got our you know, our really tall, um, I forgot the name all of a sudden. <laughs> I just had it on the tip of my tongue. But uh, for our defenses, um, so, and of course, where that comes in, there is a ladder that comes up, and then there's a ladder that goes up into this section of the tower. Um, this section here has little, uh, where if you do this, now you can shoot your arrows down. We even open that up, and you can shoot your arrows down. Um, at the enemies at all directions, even into the city. <laughs> uh, and then up above, we've got the tower itself, um, where you can be up here and, you know, you can look out and see everything that there is to see. Uh, there's also, you know, guards that you can close up the tower and then just shoot through this to protect from arrows. Um, so, you know, I mean, we're trying to make it kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say realistic, but, you know, neat, functional, all that fun stuff, not that we're ever going to have tons of thousands of players attacking our city or whatever, but you never know. <laughs> um, and so, you know, we've got several towers, of course, that we were able to finish up. It looks really nice. I like the way the wall has come. It's not too fancy. Um, you can see we were still building over here, um, mainly that we had to get, you know, we, since we went to the jungle and we got bamboo, um, you know, we were putting in these because we forgot and we had to put in, of course, the mossy cobblestone. So we've, we've been creating scaffolding along the way and taking it down and, and all that good stuff. 
Um, same thing over here. We finished our road down uh, to where it goes through and circles. Uh, not all the roads are completely finished. This one's a little bit better in that it has a siding here, a ledge, uh, whereas the others don't. And then we finished some of our streets up here as well, where we've got this one coming across and down here, where we finished up our walls to connect them together, um, where we have another gate and a road going out. We took this gate out. Um, oops, we're out of food. <laughs> Better eat. Have some steak. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Um, so we took this one out, but we left the tower foundations. Decided I didn't want a gate here. Um, since we there's one right there, and then we're going to have one right there. That's fine. So we're going to do something interesting over in this little spot. Uh, but uh, so far, that is what we have done. A lot, obviously. Um, and we got a long ways to go, and we'll keep working on it. Um, our next project um, that we're working on today, and the reason why I have scaffolding and other things... It's just come down our road, and we made the road to where you can come up and down it with horses really easy, and, you know, all of that, and, of course, run up and down it. There's, you know, it's just all a slab form. we got to put lights and all that good stuff. Oh, almost nighttime. Um, but anyways, there's our busy little bees. They've probably got a lot more honey by now, or honeycomb. Oh, my goodness, yeah, we've got tons. <laughs> cool. Um, we need it. We need to lay out our cop the rest of our copper. Um, I decided not to do copper roofs on the uh, towers um, and went with wood. I think that's fine. Um, but anyways, what we're going to do now is, you know, I need a bridge. First of all, my horse is over there. I think that's him right there. Uh, or where is he? That's Cobble. I don't know. He's somewhere over there, bronding around with a saddle. And, and so are a bunch of other horses and stuff. So... We need a bridge, and I was trying to think, okay, well, where can we put a bridge? And I decided, well, let's put it right here in front of this road that comes out from this gate. Um, so we're going to put a, a bridge right here. <laughs> so the first thing we have to do is uh, get our mossy cobblestone and regular cobblestone, and, you know, we're going to build out the side foundation and the center foundation. So the foundation itself, how wide is our road? It is five. So this is the very center. Yeah, okay, so we're three. So um, we are going to, it's it's not going to be a flat bridge. It is going to go up a little bit. Um, there wasn't high banks here, at least in this section, like there is on the other river and stuff. Um, so we'll have to take kind of the road up a little bit from right here and go up a little and we can do that. Um, so that's the goal. Is we're going to put in the blocks here. Um, we probably, whoops. Probably want a couple that uh, we're going to make it this wide. So yeah, we can do this. And we'll take it out to about there. To this area uh, simply because you know we gotta kind of kind of go up so we'll use a bunch of mossy cobblestone because it is in the river uh, kind of fill it in and I'm about to drown uh, let's do one here all right there um, so this is going to be the very edge or the foundation, so we're just going to stick this in like this. And then it's going to go out. So now we need to plan where our pillars are going to be. Okay, so there's obviously a really deep section of the river right here, so we're not going to put a pillar way down there. But we will put one... Wow, that's really deep right there, in fact. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this just on the edge right there I gotta remember we don't have a aqua affinity or respiration I should say that's what it's called uh, so we will run that out 
Oxygen. Pretty quick. Uh, cobble. We got plenty of cobble. Ah. Alright, so this is where the this support is going to come out um, of the water. And then over here, uh, we're not going to have a second support, but we'll have the well, I mean, sort of, but we'll have the bank use a shovel. You're underwater, you don't have aqua affinity. It's going to take forever if you do it that way. <laughs> Oops. Need oxygen. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to do this. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Are you coming to help with our bridge? Oh, you're so kind. Of <laughs> I don't think he was really going to be very helpful. Unfortunately. Alright. And then um we'll have to make it wide again for the size of the bridge. Cool. There, and we'll have it connect just right up there. There's my horse, by the way. I think. I think that one has a saddle. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so there's uh that now how high do we want it uh, we don't obviously not very high not this one anyways just because it's you know the banks are really low so it doesn't make sense to have a super high bridge but i'd say at least too high ab of the water um will be good and then that way we can capitalize on uh the size so i'm gonna go up here this is Above this will be the roadway, which we'll use slabs for. Um, but we're going to go ahead and create a connection right there. And we'll do the same thing the other direction. Wasn't sure if we we're going to need the scaffolding, but we might be working under the on the underside, so I don't want to bounce up and down in the water trying to build, so... That's why I got the scaffolding. And hello kitty, do you want to play or something? Yes. And there. All right. So there is where we will connect. So that means on this side, we're going to have to bring the road up to that point. All right. It's daytime all of a sudden. Yeah. We had to uh, pause the video and pet the kitty. You know, they're very demanding. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do, is, because we'll run out of time, is I'm going to work on the bridge. So we're going to pause it here, and then I'm going to come back when we're close to finish. You kind of have the basic outline, um, so it's going to be a maximum height of that outside of, of course, the road deck. Um, so we'll have a path coming down. We may raise this whole section up so it, like, rises up to the bridge on both sides. I think that would be appropriate. Um, and then it'll be... I think three wide on the road deck with the edges on each side. Uh, and then we'll figure out if we want to put any other type of supports. Um, and of course, it won't be square like this. We'll do it arched and all of that good stuff. So I'll be right back, and we'll see what progress we made. All right, we are back, and our bridge is done. Yay, you can see it behind us. If we take a look at it, um, what we did is, like we said, we went ahead and decided to raise this up so that there's an approach from all sides and it comes up and we've got three high we made a simple design with the cobble deep slate um, that goes across and we went ahead and made some lanterns and put them up as well and comes down on this side um, as far as the sides you can see that we just basically did kind of like a little design here of the cobble deep slate on top of the pillars we extended this one out a little bit narrowed that one over there and then we put these kind of little arches. I might put something here between these two things. As we bounce around, it's probably hard to see. Just so that there's an edging. It would probably be made out of wood. Maybe. I'm not sure. You know, just something right here. Um, maybe a dark oak or something. But for now, at least we have a ways way to get across. Now, where's our horse? <laughs> we shall ride the first animal across the bridge. 
Come here, horsey. No more swimming. You are saved. <laughs> nice smooth path. Uh, in fact, we can ride our horse all the way up into the city now. All right. Haven't been able to do that. So up we go and around. <laughs> this is nice. Perfect. It even spits through the gate. We don't hit our head on the portacollis. I was uh, trying to gauge it and make sure that we were okay. All right. Well, let's our horse up here. We don't have our leads with us, otherwise we could stable him. We don't have a stable either. Um, all right, well, that completes this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let's take a look at how the bridge looks from up here. It's a simple bridge, but that's all we need is a simple one. That looks good. I like it. Cool. At least we can get across. We'll take our lily pads down. <laughs> um, so Obviously, you know what comes next. We've got to continue working on the walls, the towers, uh, the other gates, because this is the only one with the porticolis, uh, the tower gates, um, and more buildings and farms and stuff. We've been mining a lot, um, but we need to get, you know, farms up, and then we need to go snag villagers and, and fill our city with villagers that do things. <laughs> that is the plan. Hey, pig. We've got pigs everywhere. <laughs> we'll have to clean them up. Um, but looking very good, very good. We have a nice beginning of a town coming along. And on the nice cold nights, we can come in and close the door and warm our hands by the hearth. <laughs> Just don't get in the fire. <laughs> we still have to furnish this. Uh, we'll get there. Um, but we did do a little work. Uh, you know, we've got lanterns, we've got the, the shutters on the windows. We even have some of them, some of the windows upstairs shuttered. Um, so looking good. So we can sit here and warm ourselves by the hearth um, and have a good mug of grog. Ale, porterhouse ale. There we go. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> but thank you for joining me today. And we shall see you on the next episode of Pern 1.18 Survival.